Hello and welcome to Total Tank Simulator with Bros. And this is demo 5 that has been released. And it's brought quite a few changes actually to the last time since I played it. It's also on Steam now. This is the Steam demo I'm playing. <clears throat> also, quite a few factions now, including Poland, USA, Germany, France, Britain, Soviet Union. The only one you can currently play, as you can see, it's full version. It's the Soviet Union and the Act 2, the Great Patriotic War. So that's what we're going to be jumping into today. They've changed this a lot. There's actually a campaign map as well, with tech trees and cutscenes, cinematics. So let's watch this. Many times before, Russia was under attack. Now, it's the Germans' turn. But it always ends up the same way. In other words, Russia coming out on top is what he's trying to say. But that just feels kind of cheesy, actually. <laughs> the voice. I guess I've got a jig. Okay, welcome to the campaign. Develop a mighty army and change the tide of war. Good luck, Commander. Game is paused right now. You can control a piece of game. Map view. Visit the garage to buy, sell, repair your units. You'll need them for the missions to come. And click play when you're ready to go. Okay, so there's a few different options here. You have three different generals here, each of them with their own respect rating. Okay. We've got our world map. We have the Soviet Union. Africa. Which is controlled by Britain. They are green too. All this blue, I'm guessing, is Germany. <clears throat> because they own everything. And the light blue, I'm guessing, is the allies of Germany. Just curious. Don't know why they have solid blue. Okay, so up here we've got our tech tree. <clears throat> with all these lovely unlockables. They're all locked right now. Um, I think you complete missions, you unlock the ability to unlock them. And then you pay to unlock them, I think, is how it works. <clears throat> get cards in the full version. Officers in the full version. Do I actually know what they do? <coughs> Sorry. I guess we'll find out in the full version. And then we got our garage here. We get access to our tanks. Anti-tank support. Buy and sell. Ooh. Wow, okay, I'm skinned. Probably shouldn't have bought that. And we got all our... also infantry. Never had infantry the last time I played. So that should be interesting. Okay, either way, let's go back to the campaign and let's just hit play until we get our first mission. I do like the we cool feature of the sea. Oh hello, Come here we go. Commander. German forces crossed our borders. They don't know what they signed up for. Don't stand here. Gather your army and defend our land. They have some Governor weird animations. Chico, our armored forces. Maybe it would be better to fall back and regroup. Silence. We will defend our land till the last man standing. There will be no falling back. Understood, Comrade Commander? <laughs> yes, they will all die. But yes, the animations are a wee bit weird. But they're a thing. Okay, so this is this general here. Mission, German invasion. Commander, strong German division is heading your way. Using light tanks to flank enemy units can be very effective. Get 10 respect. If we lose, we lose 25 respect. If we reject it, we, get 20. we lose it as well. We get a Yak and a Bomber. And... BT-7, I don't know what size of tank that is. And no unlocks. Okay, let's hop in and take a look at the, the battle map. I mean, let's face it, we're not going to reject the mission. We're going to jump in and we're going to kick those Germans' ass. How dare they invade the Soviet Union. Okay, this has changed a fair bit. Um, <clears throat> actually looks nicer. Rock greener. Okay, so these must be artillery units, which you can click on to find out. 
These are the infantry guys. That, <laughs> they look like your the army guys, the plastic guys you get. Tanks. Oh, look at we truck. Oh, we gotta get destroyed. So these look like light tanks. Some mediums, armored car. Heavy tanks, maybe? Ooh, that looks like rockets. I don't know what that is. I wonder if they, they're they using the glass, maybe. Some artillery up here. Okay, now we've got to deploy our troops. So, there's a lot of infantry coming from over there. So, what I think we need to do is have a bunker. Right? Bunkers are great for taking out infantry. And then we'll have a couple of wee riflemen of our own emerging from here. And we got a main tank line here, so I think we'll throw our medium tanks at it. Ten medium tanks. A couple of heavies in support. Um set a few light tanks, see if we can send them around the side. Same for up here. Uh, let's also get some... I love the artillery. Some artillery! <clears throat> what are we at? We're at 85 of 100 points that we can use. <clears throat> Sorry. Throat's still my head in right now. Um, is there a hill? <coughs> Damn it. Then let's throw a anti tank there. What do we got? Still place a few more tanks. Let's do that. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so then let's hit next. And now they've added a thing we can actually give commands. So you're gonna protect the bunker. <clears throat> you guys. Going to ambush. You're gonna start in stealth mode. Interesting. We've also got formation where they move the unit breakthrough. They're not distracted, they'll just run straight through, really. Oh god, that actually sounds kind of bad. We gotta move, we gotta flank. Units flank from its left side, they're not distracted by enemies. Because that's another sort of breakthrough. We gotta defend, area patrol, stay and snipe. I mean, it's just gotta sit there and try and shoot them. They receive an accuracy and a range bonus, that's nice. Mm, okay. What we want these guys to do is try and ambush. So I want you guys to try and charge up there, take out these artillery units. Oh shoot, there's more up there. Okay. That'll be fine. You guys, you just attack. Straight up. Just kick all their butts. What is that? Oh, that's the anti-tank. You know, snipe in stealth mode. During movement, they exit. They return to staff enemy unit. They receive accuracy. Well, let's just conceal snipe, I guess. And then we have our artillery units. So we got these guys. We get focus area, cover, and salvo. Cover protects an ally. Salvo will just drop a load of rounds onto an area, so let's take out those infantry with that. I think that'll be a good wee thing to do. Same for you guys, just drop a salvo on these tanks. Actually, I'm gonna grab you. Don't need three shooting at infantry. Now we have these guys. Let's set you to. We can hit and run and capture. Oh wow, look at that flank left move. You guys can try flank left. Let's have you guys try and ambush these things. Or maybe go straight through for the... Yeah, let's go straight through for... <clears throat> these guys, and then they can turn around and shoot that stuff. Okay, I think that's all the orders given. Let's just see how it plays out. Next. Here we go. Battle is joined. Just fire up. Those guys immediately drive off to the side. So those guys are dark as their stealth. Got a bunker here getting bombarded. It's crap. 
Oh man, these guys are just breaking through. <laughs> Try to chase them. Okay, these tanks are charging through. Nice, bunkers dealing with the infantry. And there's a bit of a cluster crooking on over there. Oh man, that rocket took out three of my tanks. Okay, that flight move not really doing so well. I think the ambush didn't really work either. These guys are kind of. I think we're losing this. Oh, that's not a good starting battle. They pushed through up here? I guess they did. And then died. Oh dear. <clears throat> guess it was good in theory. Not so much in practice. Is there a restart? We're just gonna lose rep now. Level failed. Thank you. Hmm. Defeat. You lost. Retry. Okay, good. We do have a retry button. I was afraid of not being able to retry. Let's have another crack at this. Okay, so. Good, and we don't expend our units. I guess it's only if it actually ends. We got our bunker. Our infantry just got wrecked, I think. Fire tanks, maybe? Take out their infantry with. Okay, let's... Because they all just charged through the last time, right? So let's just drop some... Landmines down here. <clears throat> set up a couple of anti-tank. And then we'll set up our tanks a little further back. Heavy tanks. Some mediums. Um, bum, 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 bum. Get a rocket truck out. Could be good. Don't know if it's worth having the fighter, to be honest. Let's drop some artillery. Two here. There we go. Still have a bit more capacity. I take up five. They got. Three, let's drop that and two. There we go. Let's see how that does. So I don't think you can give orders to mines. Concealed snipe. All of you guys just just attack. Just just annihilate them. Can't give any orders to that. It's weird. And so we've got our artillery. Damn it, select them both. Thank you. I salvo that. To salvo that. Going to salvo these idiots. And you guys can just go and attack the infantry. <clears throat> okay. See how that goes. I'd hate to have to end the episode without even winning a battle. <gasps> I can see the mines. That's not good. Oh, yeah, the rocks are coming in. Boom. They're missing the mines. Really? He drove over that one. That's not fair. Oh wait, some of them flying up. Oh, they're flanking on that side. Okay. Fire tanks, I can't really see what they did. If anything. Oh man, look at those tanks go. Oh, they're just charging straight through there. How do I deal with that? Try this again. Okay, let's do the board mission. Yes. No bunker can stop the mighty KV-2. Strong Soviet engineering. Oh god, what? That does give me the retry. Okay. I guess we restart the campaign. Let's just do this quickly and get straight back into it. There's nothing you really need to do. Just start. But comrade Zhuk side. Go.
Okay, so I think the bunker deals with the infantry pretty well. So let's just drop the bunker down there. That'll do. Fire tanks got destroyed. Let's have some anti-tank. Choose all five of our heavy tanks. Bunch of medium tanks. Oh, we're at maximum capacity. Um, how do we delete stuff? Settings. Okay, of course there's no controls. Wait, help. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Doesn't even say. It's only clear side. I don't want to clear the entire side. That's stupid. Eh, whatever. <clears throat> okay, let's see how that does. You know, I'm not going to do that conceal snipe. I don't know if that was actually working. Four artillery units dropping the salvo. Got all of you guys. Special. I'm going to break through, maybe. Break through to here, let the heavy tanks challenge them. I think that's all the orders. Let's see how well that does. Okay, they're taking losses. The red bar is going in our direction this time. Nice, those heavy tanks are taking them out. These guys are almost up to that artillery. I need to take that out quick. Yeah, this is going a hell of a lot better. Here we go. These tanks are now approaching here. How'd the bunker do? Bunker's dead. That's okay, the artillery's cleaning up. These tanks now. Taking out these. Must be the Goliath base there. Alright, that just leaves their artillery to take out. I wonder how the controlling works. Ooh, hello. Oh my god, that's a hell of a lot more gas work, isn't it? We Way over. <laughs> okay, I crap with the artillery now. It was much easier when you just point in the map and, hey, shoot here. Move out of my way. I got hit. There's one. Boom! Artillery killed. Yeah, level passed. Okay, so it sort of plays roughly the same. Artillery's a bit harder to freaking shoot. But that went a hell of a lot better that time. Hmm. Victory! Don't know what this is for. Panzers, Stugs. Oh, that was a Goliath base. 30 riflemen. Four Goliath mines. Oh, here we go. And then we've got... Bunker. Deployed one. Damaged. Okay. So I lost a bunker. Lost five anti-tank. Lost 12 medium tanks. And lost one light tank. Four heavies have been damaged. Okay. Germans lost a hell of a lot more. They lost everything. It just goes back to that. Okay, next. Got no idea what that bar is actually for. Great work, Comrade Commander. Red Army is invincible. Your deeds will never be forgotten. Great. Enemies of our motherland will rot in hell. Very good, Comrade Commander. We are pleased, but the war is not over. We suffered heavy losses along the whole front line. Situation is critical. Comrade Hudyakov is right. We need to prepare for long and bloody war. Good luck, Comrade Commander. <laughs> Long and bloody war indeed. Joe, you know this is making me feel like playing Hearts of Iron. Would anybody like me? Would anybody like to watch me play the new Hearts of Iron game? Maybe. 
I received new units, so I received the Yak, just the fighter, bomber, and those are the light tanks, I think. Awaiting repair. <clears throat> so how do we repair units? Repair them all. There we go. No, don't hit me. And gained respect. Great. Don't know what the respect's for, but sure. But yeah, that'll wrap up this episode. We'll take on another mission in the next one. And well, that was a longer opening. One. That took me three tries to do that mission. That's crazy. But yeah, thank you all very much for joining me. If you like the content, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, drop a comment down below. If you'd like to see me play Hearts of Iron, just play more of this as well. And yeah, I'll be playing through the demo at least. Depending on how well this does, depending on whether or not I play the full game. Or about recorded anyway. And yeah, I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.